In my dream, I'm always alone. Steve is gone for the day, and I suddenly feel like I'm being watched by something very sinister. I feel myself drawn to the basement door by some unearthly power. An unseen hand opens it for me. I go down the stairway, searching for the answer to what has drawn me here. I'm filled with terror. Calm down now, everything is just fine. Did I go down the stairs this time, Doctor? No, it was the same as the last time, I'm afraid. You almost brought yourself to go down those stairs and embrace the truth, but- What truth? All I know is that evil in the most hideous form waits for me at the bottom of those stairs. You hold the answer to what is really troubling you deep within your mind. Consciously, you've forgotten it. That's how the human mind works. Whenever something is too unpleasant, too shameful for us to entertain, we reject it. We erase it from our memory. Doctor, I know exactly what you were referring to, but that doesn't explain why I believe there's a ghost in my basement. And besides, I told you, I enjoy some of the things Steve learned from those French girls back during the war. My dear, I assure you that the ghost in your basement and your clitoral orgasms are both figments of your imagination. Well, if you say so, Doctor. I'll just keep indulging in my imagination, but what do you think I should do about the ghost in my basement? Seeing as though your washing machine is in your basement, I suggest you get over your fears. We wouldn't want your new neighbors thinking you're a lazy wife now, would we? Charming. Dr. Lomax? Yes? You don't really believe there's really any connection between my fear of the basement and my marriage? I believe that this fear of the basement, as you call it, is just a manifestation of your shameful desire for your husband to go downstairs. I can't say this was $25 well spent, but thank you for your time, Doctor. Hiya, Mary. Welcome home, Steve. What's with the baseball bat? Homework, I'm afraid. The old man wants copy on his desk by Monday morning. What do you think of this? The smacker for the slugger that really packs a punch. Yeah, it stinks. I'm sure you'll come up with something, darling. How about you, doll? How was your meeting with Dr. Lomax? He hypnotized me again, and it was the same as last time, I'm afraid. Ah, gee whiz. I guess we'll lay off it for a while. Don't be silly. It's just nerves from being in this new house is all. Now, take the trash out and I'll get dinner on the table. Hi there, neighbor. My name's Steve Maxwell. The name's Jack. Jack Miles. So you purchased this house? Yeah, the missus and I moved in last month. I'll have to bring the wife over for a visit. Ah, that'd be swell. And so when we saw the price on this house, we figured the deal was too good to pass up. On top of that, we want to start a family. Everybody's doing it these days, and I read an article in the Ladies Home Journal that said that in ten years, this will be the most wholesome city in the country to raise children. San Francisco, the 1960s. It'll probably be soda joints and apple pie as far as the eye can see. I'm sure glad you two moved in here. We just about had it with the old neighbors. Yeah, you guys are real classy compared to the last couple of kooks. What was wrong with the old neighbors? They was... strange. Ha! Ah, strange. There's the understatement of the year. A couple of voodoo worshippers is what they were. We even caught them having seances up here with some beatnik from North Beach. Seances, huh? Ain't that just the thing? It didn't end well, neither. No, it didn't. Old oh, Lewis. That was his name. Lewis Andrews. He beat up his wife good. And I mean good. He put her in the hospital good, all right. I mean, really knocked her block off. Can you imagine? 
And now he's sitting up at San Quentin. Oh dear, look what I did. Ah, honey, your dress. It'll be fine. I'll put it in the wash. Hey, look at the time. I really gotta thank you folks. Steve, you make a heck of a martini. Good night. Now don't go getting any wild ideas. This is our house now, no matter who came before. Steve? Yes, Mary? Why do you think this is happening to me? The mind is a strange and wonderful thing. I'm not sure if it'll ever figure itself out. Everything else, maybe. From the atom to the universe. Everything except itself. You got that from Invasion of the Body Snatches. Hey, it was a good movie. Well, I guess I should take care of this. I'll see you upstairs. This is never going to come out. Who's there? What's the matter? I saw it! It was hideous! What did you see? Red eyes! Evil eyes! You've got to get hold of yourself. This is all in your mind. There's nothing here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I still think this is all in my head. I don't know what to think. What are we gonna do? To start off with, you're gonna stay out of that basement until I figure it out just what the heck happened down there tonight. Yeah, and how do you plan on doing that? First thing tomorrow, I'm driving up to San Quentin and I'm gonna get some answers. Who the heck are you? Where's Margaret? Who's Margaret? My wife. Your wife? I thought she was the one who put you in here. Yeah? Well, you don't know nothing, mister. Now what do you want? I live on West Terrace Drive. In your old house? Well then, mister. I think you ought to move. I don't want to move. I can't help you. Now you listen here, pal. I want to know what you did to that house, and I want to know right now. I didn't do nothing to that house. Yeah? Well, your neighbor Jack told me different. He said you were an oddball. Said you were having seances in there. Jack? That guy's a punk. Yeah, we had a seance, but we was desperate, and we wanted to get rid of that thing. Get rid of what? The ghost. The invisible evil that lives down in the basement. What happened? It didn't work. I was down to my last chance. I tracked down this fella who lived there before. Some guy named Mikey K. He hangs out at a place called Cafe Clover down in the Castro. I think it could help, but I never got the chance. It attacked Margaret. I came home and found her. It was the worst thing that ever happened to me. The thing beat Margaret to within an inch of her life. Then I got the blame. Why'd they blame you? There was no one else in the house. I was in handcuffs before they carted her out of the bedroom. The bedroom? It wasn't in the basement? No, it was upstairs. I gotta go. 
I'm sorry, sir, but no, not that extension is picking up. Mary! Mary! I'm in the kitchen. My goodness, Steve, what's the matter? Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary, I was so scared for you. I called, but you didn't answer. I was in the shower. Now I'm just doing my thing. What's going on? Why are you so worked up? I talked to him. He didn't attack his wife. It was... It was the ghost in the basement. Oh, Mary, it's not safe for you here. Not until I destroy it. How do you plan on doing that? I don't know, but I won't rest until it's done. Why, I'll burn this house to the ground if I have to. Hey, what gives? <laughs> the door's jammed! Open the door! Stop it! Try and stay calm! Oh my god, Mary. Let's get out of here. You Steve? Who are you? I'm Mike K. Heard you were looking for me. Like no one told me you were like a jab. Yeah, I don't need to talk to no square like you. <laughs> Later. Hold on now, I didn't mean anything by that. It's just that your people killed a lot of my friends during the war. Uh, no, I don't know nothing about that. Uh, my people jungled up in an internment camp, you dig? Why are you bugging me, baby? I have a ghost living in my basement. Oh, uh, you're that cat that lives on West Terrace Drive. All right. I heard you went to jail. That was a different guy. I'm the new cat. Cool, baby. I dig. Look, it, it ain't no ghost. It's a kappa, a river child, um, a demon in the deep, I suppose. Uh, look, most people, they don't even think such things exist. But you and I, well, we know differently, don't we? It attacked my wife. Yeah, Hiroshi always was a real zonk on the head. I'm talking real bad news. Hiroshi? Yeah, that's what we called it. You see, my grandma was a real nutty chick. She brought that thing with her from Japan when she was still fresh. It was some sort of crazy pet or something, you dig? I tell you, when the man came and took us to the camp, well, let's just say that leaving that thing behind was the only good part about it. Anyway, it's been jungled up in that house ever since. It's worse than I thought. Mary said she saw it in the basement. She said it was hideous. Yeah, I saw it once. It was Horror City, baby. It couldn't do that invisibility trick after my father tried to poison it. Grandma had the nurse it back to health. Poison it? Are you telling me this thing can die? Put on your extra eyes, baby. It's invisible, but at the end of the day, it's an animal like any other. Thanks, baby. Groovy. You're in here, aren't you? I can feel it. Where are you?
Whoa! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! 